Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List, the show that celebrates everything you have to experience right here in the Lone Star State. This week, that happens to include toilets. Down in San Antonio, we came across a museum ran by a man who has a kind fondness for the commode. And needless to say, his museum is one of a kind. <laughs> Along the quiet streets of Alamo Heights, there is a home that's been sitting on Abiso Avenue for many years. Barney Smith has lived in that home for over 50 of those years, but it's his garage that gets all the attention. That's because Barney is a man with a big collection. A big collection of thrones that happen to be fit for a king. Well, the king of the commode, that is. These special seats cover all kinds of topics. I do have Michael Jackson up here. Oh, nice. you see? That's not see? creepy at all, sir. And all these are trips that we were on here on the bottom row. I've got Saddam Hussein's piece of toilet out of Baghdad. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I've got... OJ's glove up here. You remember OJ? Oh, yes. I've got Willie Nelson's hair. Wow. You even have politicians on a toilet bowl. Some say that would be fitting. Oh, yeah. Barney has been creating this curious art for years, and it was first discovered in 1992 during a yard sale. He decided to throw in some of his latrine landscapes, and that caught the attention of a shopper. I got the big head, and I said, do you want to see some more? Once Barney opened his garage, the rest is history. We need to go in there and let the world know what you're doing in your garage. I said, come on. <laughs> A media blitz ensued, and Barney was the talk of the town. Here is the uh, first ones that I did. The newfound fame didn't stop this former plumber from plugging away at his lovely lavatory layouts. And now his collection is colossal. 1,336 toilet seats. How about that? Barney has even made toilet seats for his more recent birthdays. Here is the 87th birthday cards here on this one. Here. Very neat. And here's 88. Here's 89. Here is 90, the world looks different. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. I gotta stop at 96. Why are you stopping at 96? Until May the 25th. May 25th. I'll be 97. There are several seats dedicated to Barney's story. Unhate cat and look on the back side. Hey, how about that? There's my two tassels. Hey, that's, that's you. Me. That's when I graduated from Lee University. That's awesome. There's even a key to the old college girls' dormitory that Barney won't come clean on how he obtained it. Wife and I might not have been married for 74 years had she known I had the key to the girls' dormitory. Yeah, <laughs> there it is right there. Right here. Right there. Ah. Hey, we got to shake you down and find out if you've got my key to the girl's dormitory. <laughs> hey. History, disasters, dollars, and doodads. So That's you're it. still doing these yourself? Oh, uh, day and night, mostly night. Really? That's why that I can't get up in the daytime, because I'm a night owl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you still do this. I mean... It's obviously a passion. Oh, I say it is. I'd rather do this than eat when I'm hungry <laughs> or sleep when I'm sleepy. Unfortunately, father time is taking its toll on the man who's known for toilet seats. So his terrific and storied collection is looking for a new owner. This collection is up for sale. Really? Oh yeah. I'm getting so old and feeble until I can't come out here and open it up anymore. Yes, sir. If somebody comes along that wants to keep it as a museum, I don't want them buying it and piece by piece selling it out because some of these things, someone to give them a pretty piece of money for just one of them. Yes, sir. So I'm trying to sell the whole collection 
the Lord has been good to me to give me 96 years here because I've seen a lot of changes in this old world. Do you have a favorite toilet seat? Is there one that is just I surely favorite? do, and I want to show it to you. Yes, sir. Barney led us to a simple seat covered with a poem by Rudyard Kipling. A poem that he's known by heart since he was 12. When Earth's last picture he painted, and the tubes are twisted and dried. The oldest colors have faded, and the youngest creek had died. We shall rest, faith we shall need it. Lie down for an eon or two, until the master of all good workmen shall put us work anew. Those that were good shall be happy, they shall sit in a golden chair and splash in a tinny canvas with brushes of comet's hair. They shall have real saints to draw from, Magdalen, Peter, and Paul. They shall work for an age of the sitting, never grow tired at all. Only the master shall praise them, only the master shall blame. No one shall work for money, no one shall work for fame, but each for the joy of the working, each in a separate star shall draw the things as he sees it for the God of things as they are. The teacher gave me that poem 85 years ago, and I'm still saying it today. So I enjoy it. That, uh, that is something else. Oh, that, that's my favorite. The days are numbered for Barney Smith's Toilet Seat Museum as it is. What happens to it only time will tell. While there is a book featuring his artwork, Barney hopes his visions and love for life displayed on this large number of lids will live on elsewhere. I feel like that the Lord has uh, given me this many years to be a blessing to someone. And I said that I hope that I've um, uh, got this museum here, a collection to where someone could be blessed.